have this nice south southeast wind it has been rather steady through the overnight hours and has held the temperatures between 48 50 degrees ever since eight o'clock last night i mean the temperatures basically didn't move while you were sleeping through the overnight hours your forecast for your sunday temperatures starting right now in the low 50s end up in the mid 60s by the noon hour so we get warmer than we were yesterday by noon, and we are into the 70s this afternoon. We're going to see some cloud cover coming in, and you'll also notice the winds picking up. Now, this is future cast winds, so the numbers here, mile per hour winds, and the arrows pointing from which direction. So it's coming from the south, and in yellow here, these are where the winds are getting close to 20 miles an hour. Those are steady. Steady winds close to 20. Gusts will get up to 25 to even 30 miles an hour this afternoon. Today we're in the 70s. Tomorrow we're in the 70s. What December? We have a small chance of rain tomorrow, and so begins a dramatic change of weather. So watch this, okay? This is, I need you to pay attention about what's ready to happen to us because from Monday to Tuesday, we're going to go from spring-like temperatures right back to winter. This is Monday morning, and Monday morning you're seeing all this rain just off to the west of the Metroplex, but in our western counties. It kind of hangs here really for most of the day. It's waiting for a cold front to come through and start pushing all this down. This is at 5 o'clock, so we'll have only about a 20% chance of rain during the day on Monday, but then a front comes through towards the end of the day and this rain starts to follow in behind it. This is 10 o'clock and there'll be some rumbles of thunder even with this, but nothing severe. This is what happens in the overnight because that cold front behind it is really cold air and the temperatures are going to go from the 70s to the 30s in the overnight hours. And I've circled the area right here where we think we're going to get enough mixed precipitation that it might actually stick to something, maybe to the bridges, overpasses, grassy areas. The travel problems here will be minimal the way it looks now, but from Jacksonboro to Breckenridge down to Abilene, maybe a stretch of I-20, 199, 287 heading up towards the northwest, you, you could run into some problems on the bridges. So this is why I need to give you a heads up. Again, this is Tuesday morning, and then all this rain starts to pull away as we get deeper in the morning and start the afternoon hours. We're stuck with clouds and, and much cooler temperatures. Just so you know, there, there is forecast for accumulating snow and you can see most of it up into Arkansas but this would be mixed with rain and warmer ground so it'd be very difficult for that to stick. The story is the temperatures really as we go from 70s to 30s Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon we're staying in the 40s all day. The rain fortunately leaving but only in the 40s all day and remember we haven't had a freeze since the middle of November. We're going to have a freeze Wednesday morning. That would be the next one. Uh, temperatures, by the way, in the 70s a couple of days. I know I was talking about how cold it is. The cold air arrives Monday night and Tuesday. We get the worst of it. Then from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're talking about highs pretty much staying in the 50s pretty much December.